So Hyundai India, Tokyo Metro, they could be uh, bellwethers uh, for those respective markets. Are those listings going to open up the floodgates then for more activity? Mm. I do think so. Uh, first of all, uh, for these two cases, it's very interesting that they have a lot of uh, uh, typical objectives of company to go public, including like expansion of the market there and also uh, offloading some of the shares by the major shareholders and also uh, having some uh, needs like settling the debt uh, for some uh, tsunamis uh, incident that happened uh, in 2011. So th this type of IPOs uh, surely is sizable and also uh, with the markets, which uh, both of them are in a very hot position, and also with high liquidity. And that's why I do think that after these two IPO, and if the return of the IPO is uh, reasonably good, it will attract more company to consider these two markets as the IPO destination. And also some of the industries uh, that may be typically uh, traditional in nature, instead of having a lot of tech, uh, they may uh, also be interested in doing IPO in these markets. Ringo, you mentioned the debt. Is that going to be a consideration amongst uh, investors when they are uh, buying uh, either of these uh, respective mm -hmm. stocks when they do list? Um, well, uh, well, years ago when the Chinese company called Guangzhou Railway Oko Public, they also partially using the IPO process to repay the debt. Uh, some of the investors would love to see that, but uh, with the high interest uh, cost in recent days, uh, I believe that uh, some offloading or deleveraging of st such a loan will make the company healthier and also uh, sustainable to future competitions uh, for the markets. Ringo and What's next in terms of uh, the next big ticket IPOs? You've mentioned uh, Tokyo uh, mm. uh, Stock Exchange. Mm. And how is that mm. going to be? If there are more IPO candidates uh, coming to market, then uh, ultimately what does that mean? I see. Well, for the Japan market, uh, you can see that uh, they have uh, a lot of smaller size company. And uh, Japan actually is famous for having a lot of tech company and also there are some new startups uh, from Japan. Although the size of those companies may not be as big as uh, Tokyo uh, Metro, but uh, some of them are very interesting and then uh, there are some other like uh, similar path of uh, what China has done uh, to have some uh, e-commerce or some other uh, interesting company uh, that may provide various uh, needs for the uh, new generations and, and like game or all that. Uh, I think that uh, in the near future, Japan markets uh, will recover for the IPO uh, place uh, because in this year, I, uh, before the uh, Tokyo Metro, uh, Japan is not in a high, very high rank, even though uh, it is one of the largest uh, stock markets in Asia Pacific. 